Sunday Club and Jam with Vicky, Sky, and Sarah. Before we get started, here is Roxy with a quick hello. Hi, boys and girls. Roxy here again. I hope you're all well. I've been feeling a little sad this week because my family should have been away on holiday, but because of the lockdown restrictions, they couldn't go which meant I couldn't go on my holidays to Inverness to stay with my cousins Finlay and Olivia and I'm really missing them. But Sky and Zara have been giving me lots of cuddles and taking me nice long walks to cheer me up. They are really enjoying their summer holidays and not having to do any more homeschooling. I hope you're all enjoying your holidays too. Have fun everyone! Just like Roxy, I was feeling a little bit down this week because we should have been away on our holidays to the Netherlands and Belgium, but because of coronavirus, we couldn't go away on our travels. And although it's the summer holidays, I know there's lots of people missing out on their holidays or summer activities they've got planned because of the restrictions in place. And I was feeling a little bit moany about mm. it and complaining. And then someone pointed out to me that I have a lot to be thankful for. And I should be concentrating on all the positive things that I do have and not on what I'm missing out on. And then I felt a little bit bad because I've been feeling so sorry for myself when in fact I do have a lot to be thankful for and I'm very fortunate. I have my family and friends who have all stayed well and safe during the lockdown. We've got a lovely garden to play in. And although we can't go to a water park, We've had lots of fun playing in our paddling pool and playing on our slip and slide. Um, this week we've also been able to um, visit some of our family. We visited Nana and Papa, didn't we girls? Mm -hmm. We had fun mm -hmm. seeing them. And you also got to see your cousins who you haven't seen for over four months. And they had all grown, especially your baby cousin Emily. They were so much mm -hmm. taller than they had been since the last time we saw them and it was really great to catch up. And I got to also see my cousin Jennifer and she's grown a little too, hasn't she? Because yep. she's grown a baby bump because she's expecting a baby very soon, which is another thing that we've got to be thankful for. Um, another thing is because we didn't get to go away on holiday this week, I've had we've time had to tidy out thing. Zara's messy bedroom, which was Spilling out into the hall because she had so many toys, lots that she didn't play with, lots of clothes that didn't fit her so we couldn't even get her wardrobe <coughs> shut. So I've had time to tidy out her bedroom and get it all looking nice, which I wouldn't have been able to do if we'd been away. So another thing that I can be thankful for. We've also got a roof over our heads. We've got nice comfy beds to sleep in and we've got plenty of food to eat. So we've got lots to be thankful for. So even though I was feeling a little down at the beginning of the week, I realised that actually I've got a lot to thank God for. Sometimes it's easy to forget about all the good things we have and we don't always show our thanks to God. We can forget to show our gratitude for what he provides. But throughout the Bible, it teaches us that we should be thankful and also about the importance of showing our thanks. Now, the last time we spoke to you, we were learning about a very special man in the Bible who God chose to be king of Israel and who had great trust in God. That's right, girls. It was David we were learning David, about. David, shepherd, shoulder and king. That's right. David. And we heard the story of David facing Goliath. And we also learned that David went on to be a great leader. But I also mentioned that David went through many difficult times in his life. And not only did David trust in God, but also David always showed his thanks to God for what God provided him and how God helped him throughout his life. And I think I mentioned last time that, God, that David wrote many of the Psalms in the Bible. And no matter what David was facing, we read in the Psalms about how thankful he is to God. He faced good times and bad times, but always turned back to the truth of the goodness of God. This often helped him carry him through the hardest of situations. And some examples of David's thankfulness in the Psalms are, in Psalm 9, he says, I will give thanks to you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. 
I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing the praises of your name, O Most High. And in Psalm 69, it says, I will praise God's name in song and glorify him with thanksgiving. This will please the Lord more than an ox, more than a bull with its horns and hooves. Through our prayers and worship, it is so important to show our thanks to God for his love and for all he provides. But the Bible also teaches us that we should also show our thanks to others. And the Bible instructs us to encourage one another often. In the days of the early church, Paul encouraged the churches he was leading to give to others, to encourage others and to be thankful to each other. In his first letter to the Thessalonians, in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, he says... Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up, just in fact you are doing now. Now we ask you, brothers and sisters, to acknowledge those who work hard among you, who care for you in the Lord and who admonish you. Hold them in the highest regard and love because of their work. Live in peace with each other, and we urge you, brothers and sisters, warn those who are idle and destructive, encourage the disheartened, help the weak, be patient with everyone. Make sure that nobody pays back wrong for wrong, but always strive to do what is good for each other and for everyone else. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. And thanks and giving go hand in hand. When we are given something or we receive from others, we should always say thanks. We should always show our thanks to others and we should encourage our friends and loved ones too. God can use us to share his love with others by simply sharing words of thanks and of support. It can sometimes be easy though to forget to show our thanks to others. How often do you girls have to be reminded? When you say, Mum, can I have a biscuit? And I have to say, I think you mean please. And then I also have to remind yeah. you to say thank you, don't I? A hundred, a hundred, a hundred, yeah. a hundred, ten, I think it happens ten, far hundred. too often. Sometimes we may even forget to show our thanks to God. We may have asked for something in prayer. And when our prayer is answered, we take it for granted. And we forget to thank God for his goodness. There is a story in the Bible in Luke chapter 17 about Jesus meeting ten men on his way to Jerusalem. When Jesus came across the ten men, they had a terrible skin disease called leprosy. Have mercy on us, Jesus, the men cried. Go and let the priest look at your bodies, Jesus told them. Only the priest could certify that they were truly healed. As the men hurried to the priests, their skins were healed. One man, a Samaritan, came back to thank Jesus. Why has only one man come to thank God when ten men were healed? commented Jesus to his disciples. Turning to the man, he said, go, your faith has cured you. So these ten men came to Jesus with the hope of healing and all of them walked away cleansed. But only one, one out of those ten came back to thank, to praise God and to thank Jesus for the, his healing. And Jesus makes a point to call out the other nine and ask his disciples, why did they not come back to th say thank you? He wants to point out the importance of showing gratitude and thanks. God is faithful to provide for our needs as well as providing many other blessings and he deserves to hear our thanksgiving often through praise and prayer. If we regularly say our thanks to God it's one of the best weapons we have to help us in troubled times and along with making sure we show our thanks to God it's also important we show our thanks to others especially our parents and when we receive through God or from family and friends it's important we show how grateful we are. So this week Sky and Sarah have been busy making something to help them show their thanks to God.
what have you been making this week? Love heart. And we've um, been making I'm thankful to God. They say I'm nice. thankful to God. And like, and what, <gasps> there's writing in there. And what does yours say? So, um, so it says I'm thankful to God on the front. And then inside Sarah has written everything that she's thankful for and then she's decorated it. So she says she's thankful for her family, for playing outside, for sunny days and rainbows, for delicious food to eat, for her cousins and her friends to play with. She says that Jesus loves her and she's thankful that God is her superhero. And she's also thankful for her Nana and Papa. So in each of these little sections, she's written something yeah. she's thankful for. And my one's like a flower. It does look, look a bit it. like a flower, that's right. And my one says, God and Jesus, shelter and food to eat, church family, my family, my friends, my, mummy and daddy, my sister and my dog, lovely, I think that's lovely nature, nature you've written. Because you like nature. going out in lovely walks and nature. And then oh. you fold it back up. So um I, what I put it in, I put it in the earth, um the um the sun, a flower, a rainbow, two suns and another rainbow. And another rainbow and the earth lovely. So that is drawn some pictures of the earth and some flowers and rainbows and the sun. Okay, and you've been using these to help you with your prayers, to help you for the things that you want to thank yeah, but God for. Yeah, you can use them as a fan too, because well, it kills bit, you. Yeah, yeah, you can use them as a fan. So, to make these, we needed to start with a square, and we didn't have any square paper, so we got some A4 paper, and we, got and we some, folded it like this. And we got some pens to join it, see what we we're thankful for, to join it, and to do some That's things right. to decorate it. So we folded this bit up like this and then we cut this little rectangle off the bottom. Like so. My mom, and then we had a nice triangle. My mum is good at um, um, drawing and okay. colouring. Thanks, Sarah. Colouring. And then once you have your square, you need to fold it this way. And then you'll make like this. Part. And then you're going to fold it this way again. So you're going to have a smaller square. It looks like a diamond. And cutter. then if you fold it, just to put a fold down it, Name triangle like this. And then you need to, your this bit here is going to be the bottom of your heart. So you need to draw the top of your heart in and then cut it. Yeah, out. and then it'll be like a heart like so this. That's right. So the bottom, so this bit here that folds up, the top bit is going to have one, two, three, four oh, bits that open. So you need to make sure that you've got the right end or you'll end up just with four yeah. separate love hearts. And that bit is And it won't be joined together. So we're then going to draw our, the top of our love heart in. You can use whatever colour well, you want. Or maybe even a pencil might be easier, but yeah. um, draw it in like this. And you'll then need, you're going to get the scissors. You'll need a thin pencil and and thin pencil. When you do your pencil first, and then go over it with the thin pen. That's right. So then... And then it should look a little bit like this. Yeah. Then mm. we cut the top. Out yeah. and then and if you don't just want, give it another fold there. If you don't want that bit showing, you can just rub it out. That's rub right. So you wrote, I am thankful to God on the front, or you could write, you I, could write I, I thank, thank God. God. Um, but, oh, and then I love God. when you open it up, once you have written something and decorated the front of your love heart, when you open it up, you can write in each of these little sections on, something you are thankful on for. On my love heart, I done a love heart, a wee for Kano, a wee um, son, my name, and Ooh. a son. Ooh. Roxy, mm -hmm. hello. Roxy, she. <laughs> um, I think Roxy likes your love heart. Um, I so, done a thunderstorm. That's right. So, Zara and Skye, you also made some for your Nana and Papa. And when we went to see them this week, you gave them to them. 
and you just decorated the front of them and you wrote something on the front and then you left it blank inside and you encouraged Nan and Papa to write what they were thankful for in each section. Uh -huh, and, and they wrote so many thankful yeah. things. And, and they wrote so that they were thankful for you things. too, didn't they? Yeah. And they really appreciated getting these as a little gift. So you could try to make your own at home. Yeah. Or maybe you could try and write, uh, make one for one of the members of your family or one of your friends and leave it blank inside and encourage them to or write what they are thankful for. Or you can hang one up on your bedroom and give one to your friends and your family. That's right, that's so a lovely if idea. If you hang it up on your bedroom, you'll be able to see all the thoughts and stuff of God. Okay, so and Sky and Zara really enjoyed making this craft this week mm -hmm. and we hope that you maybe get to try it at home as well. My God, My God is, is so big, so strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do my God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The rivers are His, the mountains are His, the stars are His, and He work too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. He's called you to live for Him every day, in all that you say and you do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that He cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that my God cannot do. The rivers are His, the mountains are His, the stars are His handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. For you and you. We are very excited that after the summer, there's lots of boys and girls from our church who will be going into primary one, which means they will be joining us at Sunday Club. And although we can't be together at Sunday Club just now, we hope that we'll be back together sometime soon and we'll get to welcome you all properly. But we're also sad that Christopher will be leaving Sunday Club and heading to TGIF. But I'm sure he'll have lots of fun and we want to wish him lots of luck at high school and at TGIS too. So before we say goodbye, Sky is going to lead us in prayer. Thank you God for all that you provided for us and the many blessings you have given. Thank you for loving us and for giving us your son Jesus who died for our sins. Help us to show our thanks to others and help us to encourage and support our friends and families. Always help us to remember all that is good in our lives and to be grateful in all that we have and all that we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So try this week to focus on always showing your thanks to God and to others in all that you do, especially your mums and dads. Have a fun week everyone. Goodbye and God bless you all. Goodbye.